Hey, what's up, guys? You're on Mitri Boy for Life. Today, we're talking about the Steel MS200T and also the Husqvarna T540. Both of these are professional arborist trim saws or climbing saws, lemon saws, whatever you want to call it. Um, both are sporting 12 inch bar and chain. And we're just going to talk about some of the similarities and some of the, the differences in them. I mean, just the overall design of everything. You can see that. Of course, the steel has much more of a box frame. I'm trying to set these boys up to where they can both lean just a little bit before we can see them. Let me see if this the husky will sit up just maybe for us. Okay, there she goes. I don't know how long she'll stay up. But um, you can see the husky is probably just slightly taller um, there with the bar and everything. But overall, pretty much, you know, saws are saws. They're pretty much the same design. Uh, the crankcase and everything, the starter pulley assembly, the clutch cover, and all that good stuff. I mean, we ain't going to all that. Um, the steel, of course, is you know pre EPA saw and that's an auto tune saw, so a bunch of differences there. But outside of that, just general use, I wanted to, you know, I, I've been dying to get my own 200T, and I finally got this one, as you guys know who've been watching my videos. and. If this is your first time watching my channel or just watching this video or the videos, you can go look at my um, my videos. I got tons of playlists and things like that, and we could um, and you can just kind of catch up to where the other guys are as far as with this debate. I've been wanting one so long, but I finally got me one. That way, because I've, I've used other guys, but not for extended long periods of time, at least not here recently. When I first started, the guys that I helped before, they used these almost all the time, so that's all I use. So. But at the time, you know, I took a little break, maybe about three years from doing tree work and then jumped back into it on my own. That's when I started my own thing. But long story short, now that I've got, I have one and I've used, I purposely used these both on the ground and I use them extensively for one day. We had a big job here in Winston-Salem. It's called Vulcan. I was helping one of my buddies out. It's a rock quarry, but we had to clear about maybe about, let's see, Bradford pear trees. I'm talking maybe about 15 to 20 Bradford pears and probably about 15 to 20 Leland Cypress and add about 15 to 20, um, what do you want to call them, um, crepe myrtles in the picture. So after using them extensively, now I've used this saw for so long anyways, this is still my favorite saw. But what I did notice, um, and if you if you have a chance to watch Human's channel, I mean, and shout out to you too, Human, for this because he brought this up and this is something that's very important. And this is what I figured out was the biggest difference and why some people say, well, no, this saw is better or no, that saw is better. Here's what I figured out what it is. And it's a simple design mechanism. It's two different things. It's Number one is the, the anti-vibe for one. And um, number two is the auto-tune. Here's the biggest difference I noticed about these saws. These saws are equally powerful. Sometimes the Husqvarna will have the edge, and a lot of the time, the steel will have the edge. Now, here's the reason why. For one, you have to factor in the fact that this is pre-EPA. It's the best saw still made as far as the Arborist Climbing Saw. Um, but the problem is with this one, is that what's really interesting with the anti-vibe, now I think I gotta give Husqvarna the edge on every saw I've ever used, and I think that's actually Cost too. Cost is a lot cheaper than steels for the most part. But when I have used steels in the past, they vibrate your hands half to death. And that's why I was going to say shout out to Human. If you hadn't subscribed to his channel, he has great reviews. He's doing great tree work, getting great videos and commentary and everything's added on to that. So subscribe to him if you hadn't checked this channel out already. But what he was talking about was one thing that he had noticed even with his 362. And it's something, you know, we forget about if we've used it. And see, that's what I forgot about it for quite some time. Um, using my T540 until I got the, t the 200T and I used it extensively. We had a huge job at a rock quarry. I'm talking, and it was cutting down, a lot of cutting down and a lot of um, cutting up. So I used these extensively. And even when I was doing the test, if you've seen my other video about, the, and it wasn't really a versus, it was just kind of seeing how they do through cutting with different woods or wood. Um, and you can tell well, this chain was practically brand new. I probably should run them now that I've sharpened both of them. And you probably see still even a big difference in how they run. But at any rate, what you'll notice here on this design of the steel, this is fixed to the inside. Um, and, and what I'll do, I'll just use my thumb here. And you can see it does give, does give 
but most of the vibration is it starts up here so it vibrates that handle i mean you, would, you wouldn't think it would but it really because it's stuck on that that frame how it's mounted there it just vibrates your hand half to death and um and that's why i was saying you wouldn't think about it because when i was using steel before that was the only thing i had at first then i went to use a husqvarna i noticed instantly my hands wouldn't fatigue as fast and they wouldn't feel like they wanted to cramp up and that's what human was talking about too and that's what I noticed with, with excessive use of this because of the power. Now, that's why I would say equally to me, I think they power equally. Um, and, and sometimes, depending on how this one's set um, and, and with the auto tune, and that's again goes back to our other issue. The auto tune actually depends on how it wants to run because it's auto. You can't go in there and twerk, tweak it. You know, I say twerk it, not twerk, but you go in there and tweak it. Um, so that's why the issue with this, sometimes your auto tune might not be tuned up. Because I don't know if you noticed in my other video when I did, actually when I did the first cut with the Husqvarna, it cut extremely fast, even though, and faster than the steel. But it was like after that first cut, maybe a few of the few cuts in between of the rest, the steel just took off. And it was just, but what it was, the auto-tune was set to so a different setting, um, a lower setting, and it made it, the steel really perform a whole lot outperform it. Because again, it's pro pre pre EPA, so it's it's just dog. I mean, it just runs. Yeah, it just runs, and it's a good. Again, it's a really good saw for. And it's crazy. This is 35 cc, and um, this one right over here is um, close to a 39. But that's the thing. If if you could adjust the carb on this one and kind of tweak tweak it up, I don't think that the steel could do anything with the Husqvarna. But at any rate, like again, it's any given day, just like any given Sunday with football, you just never can tell. So, um, again, long story short, with with that, the anti-vibe is a big difference. So I noticed with the steel that it vibrated my hand like half to death, and I'm literally, when I finished, I was having to, you know, tweak my hand. I was like, man, I'm not used to this because it's like, I mean, like I say, I'm using this. I'm cutting trees. I'm cutting them big trees down. I mean, big trees, cutting them bad boys down. I'm cutting every limb up with it until it runs out of gas. Then I'll switch over to the Husqvarna, and, and 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 that's what's going back to what I was saying about the design. The design, if you notice in here, um, again, it's like a fixed plate in the front of this thing um, that is kind of mounted to, and it's um right there, and it's just it's a lot stiffer than the Husqvarna, and. You'll notice the way Husqvarna did theirs, they did like a suspended thing, like a ring, a spring that's inside of here. And um, let's see if I can hold this up, prop this up with my foot. Um, but you can see, I mean, it really gives a whole lot more than that still. You can see it giving. And then what most people don't realize if, they, if, if they've ever never seen a T540 is that really this whole back piece, the only thing that connects this back piece um to the tank is again just like just like with the steel all this stuff is connected but it's like like look at this right here you see um, like i'm putting it on the ground put my foot and i'm trying to move with my thumb you see how this moves okay now now let me show you the difference with the husqvarna now i'm gonna show you the same thing but see how that moves that whole back end moves so it's not connected really that, that that much I mean it just gives a whole lot easier and it moves and see how it gives there real easy and you can see it now I put them up against each other again so you can see there that still is a lot stiffer it moves but it's a whole lot stiffer especially going that way than the Husqvarna I mean that Husqvarna it jumps I mean you can see the gaps and you can take it even further but it keeps hitting the, the edge of that but you can see how much more it gives it'll go until it hits that edge but it, it can go even further but you wouldn't want to damage the um the outlet holes or the inlet holes so again the difference in the is the anti-vibe and the auto tune uh, so again i was saying the, the steel, I thought that was a plate there, but I was kind of talking crazy. It still is kind of suspended there. But, and that that top part is actually a whole lot better. It looks a whole lot better than it does, but it just feels a lot stiffer. I think a lot of it is too because 
they use like this buffer. The way they use this buffer here, where it's still, I mean, Husqvarna actually uses a spring. So that's a big difference right there. The spring and the handle is just so much different. Um, it's so much different. I can't begin to explain it. It's just, it just doesn't seem like much when you looking at it, but it really makes a difference. So basically what I'm getting at is that you, you'll find that your, your hands are fatigued a lot sooner with the steel. But the thing about the steel, because it's a lot stiffer, you find yourself not having to exert as much pressure to make the same cuts that you would the um, T540. Because I noticed with the T540, I find myself actually, because it's so, it, it, I mean, I'm telling you, when you're getting that cut, it's so, it, the way it's vibed, it just, you, you go in a little harder, you find yourself holding it a little harder than you would the steel, because the steel, if you hold it too hard, it'll bind the chain. So you can kind of just let it, let it kind of float through. So the torque, because of how the anti-vibe is set up, the torque is a little different. Um, although basically the same power. Sometimes this will be it, sometimes this will be this. So it's like you'll you'll once you're doing certain cuts and certain things, you'll see the differences. But that was the biggest difference. So I, I figured a lot of people probably probably complained when they switched over to T Bob 40. Um, because they weren't used to the power. It seemed like they had to work extra hard to make the same cut that you did with the steel. Plus, the steel is, like again, it's pre-PA. It's made a little different, so it's going... I mean, this this is more time-tested than the T540, but just in my opinion, T540 is just as great as all. I mean, I hadn't had no issues, and it comes down to how you take care of it. Um, that's really... I mean, from what I've seen as far as power, I'm not too impressed either way. I mean, as far as to where I just say, okay, this saw has to have the edge over this saw because it's just not like that. I mean, if you use it, um, it's, it's, you know, I guess it, if I do another test and I get and I do another change and everything, but I'm, I'm not thinking it's so much to where it's just mind boggling. It's not like a difference between the 201 or, or maybe the T5, 435 against this, or, you know, you can see the differences, you know, in the saw. So, I mean, it's, it, I mean, you, you can see slight differences, but Kind of like the difference between the 394 and the 395 or or the 394 and the 660 you know it's little slight differences but mostly it comes down to the way it feels and i think a lot of guys tend to like the way this feels because they've used it a lot more as opposed to this but see the difference with this that i like that you got the the grips that you can change to adjust to your hands it doesn't fatigue your hands halfway as fast it lasts a little longer on gas got the gas sight it has two pieces that you can use for your um, chainsaw lanyard and clipping onto your belt. So, and it still has the one back here. And then there's nothing against the one, but I'm used to the two now. So it's like, it's hard for me to get used to that too. Um, I will say the clutch cover on the um, on the 540 is, is, is definitely um, a lot better than, the, um, than this one on the 200T. I think this is one thing I really hate about these saws because it runs the way it runs on almost all the steel saws, especially when you use any kind of white anything. Just any of this, this old carbon and all this exhaust, it just melts these things. And you can see this is the common occurrence on all these saws. Or you'll see a brand new looking saw and you come to the exhaust side and it's all is black. So that part I hate, but this little thing, I've never had any issues and so until I dropped it out of a tree, it's the only issue I've had out of that. And again, see the anti-vibe, this whole this whole piece is connected. So it's just so much different in the feel that you get. You don't feel as much as that crankcase is separated on the T540 as opposed to the how this is all set up on the um on the on the on the um MST. And you can see, I mean, very similar saws in, in themselves. I mean, a saw is a saw. I mean, it's just the muffler, the, da, 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 the crankcase, this and that. I ain't gonna get all into that, but it's just a saw is a saw, but this design was as amazing. If they could re 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 come out with that, maybe EPA that saw with the same power, if not a little powerful, that saw probably take the cake. But right now, I can't really tell the too much of a difference other than the two differences that I'm telling you now. It's definitely with the the fact that the auto tune, the carburetor sets it up so you never can tell when it's gonna be up and down. Sometimes, even though you try to get the cuts and make the cuts really good, so it will seem like this lags behind. But really what it is is that the settings on the carb is set lower so it can't outperform the steel. So it looks like the steel is just beating up the T540 when that's not the case. Because when this carburetor is tuned at a higher setting, 
then the steel, then the Husqvarna will beat the steel, and it's like, okay, what's going on? What's going on? So it's like I said, it's give and take with that because the auto tune and the anti vibe. But other than that, you got two really good saws. I'm not gonna talk you guys half to death, but my thing would be if you are going to buy a chainsaw for long term use, and if you and if and or if you're not affected by the fatigue of your hands. If you're not affected by the fatigue of your hand and the vibrations, you get your steel. But overall, I have to go with the T540. I can't, I can't, uh, not even just because I use it more because, like I said, I've used them extensively. But I actually prefer to use that one on the ground since it's a dog. I just dog it out on the ground. Um, now that I've got them, I just use them, you know, like that. But I, when I climb, this is what I like having up next to me. Um, it's just a whole lot better as far as how it feels and it's like i said the power is there that's never been an issue it's just depending on what the car wants to do when it wants to do it so this saw right here in my opinion still takes the cake based on just that just that alone um i mean we can get into all the little idiosyncrasies about every little saw but i mean you'll find that t54 is like the swiss army knife um of saws as opposed to the the pre-epa 200t so very good soft steel, but in my opinion, the T54 is still better. Um, just, just for the simple fact that you can use it and your hands will feel a whole lot better. Your arms will feel better. I'm telling you, I cannot even explain to you. I, I, I really forgot what it felt like for my hands to be as fatigued as they were with the steel. Um, and so, you, and if anybody, you know, if you don't have that issue, and I'm going to tell you, it's just like with a chef. It'll feel like your hands just want to cl clench up. But you, it just, it just does something to your hands, and so you just, I hadn't had, didn't, I hadn't even had that issue the whole time I've had the T540, and I didn't realize until I used that. So that's another. That's, so that's really again, that's a really the only issue. If they could make that redesign the um, anti vibe on that still, it'll be hard choosing then which one I like better. Maybe this one because it it is better on gas, and I can, I've used it without running out of gas so long. I got the prime above and the sights and everything. I just don't. I, it would still it'd still be hard for me. It's a toss up. I'm I'm just really, I really feel in the T540. Um, and I couldn't see again if you guys just had to. It's just like me. If you just have to buy your 200 T, just buy one. But unless you really plan on using it long term, or like most people do, just use get it and just sit to the side get you something that's going to be better on your hands and on your body to see this saw right here it treats you a lot better than this one will even though this one cuts really good and um so that's just my take on it you guys can offer your input again shout out to all you guys for watching this video i really appreciate it sorry it took me so long to get it back up but um i just been working a whole lot of other things been going on so at any rate peace out you on me true buffer life